Well, Vicki, Glenna Hess bought the electric car she was driving the day before she stalled on the bridge. Hess says the battery drained rapidly as she finished an errand over in Jeffersonville, and on the way back to Louisville, heading south, her electric car died in the right-hand lane. It's the afternoon of March 1st, a regular day for Glenna Hess, when suddenly... I'm on the bridge, and the car just totally stalled, saying there's no power left. The battery powering her electric car is dead, but the accessory battery is still alive, so Hess is able to activate her emergency flashers. Hess says she calls AAA. An operator tells her to keep her seatbelt on until help arrives. I called my husband and I'm like, I'm scared to death because, you know, the traffic. But everybody saw my blinkers on and they were going around me. Until, according to police, a pickup driven by 33-year-old Trevor Branham of Jeffersonville clips the back of Hess's car, then plows into a semi. Branham is facing four counts of wanton endangerment, as well as operating a motor vehicle with a suspended license. The chain reaction sends the semi through the pedestrian rail and over the edge, where the cab, with the driver still inside, is left hanging high above the Ohio River. Hess, who says she was briefly knocked out, comes to and exits her car. I got out, and that's when I looked over my shoulder, and I see the semi. I had no clue what had happened. I mean, I, I don't know how long I was out. Hess sees the dramatic scene the whole world watched on TV. I was scared to death for the woman driving the, the, um, the truck. And in her behalf, she saved so many lives because she swerved over, but probably thinking if I can, that bridge will stop me. Which it did, kind of. But now, truck driver Sydney Thomas, still in her seatbelt, is hanging on for dear life. Louisville firefighter Bryce Carden repels down to the semi, cuts off the seatbelt, and pulls Thomas to safety. Hess, with only minor injuries, watches it happen and says it's a miracle no one was killed. But I can't say enough for the, for the first responders and for the um, the truck driver because they they did so much to save lives that day. Hess says she has only minor injuries or had only minor injuries rather, but is dealing now with a little bit of bridge PTSD. The collapse in Baltimore yesterday didn't help, but Hess says she will go over the Clark Memorial again one day. In the meantime, she's urging transportation officials to prohibit semis from traveling across what is a very old and very narrow structure. Reporting live in studio, Randall Cam, WOKY News.